In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can check and remove AI and similarity using Turnitin and other platforms. So stay tuned till the end of the video. So we have this paper here that is on the difference between plagiarism and similarity and we want to test to what extent this content is similar to other content, to what extent this content has been generated or rewritten using AI. So here we need to just copy the content. So we go to this platform that is called Stealth Writer. So we just log in and here on this uh, dashboard we have AI Detector. We're going to paste the content and check for AI. After the report is complete, we get the AI detection result below and we find here 91% AI generated. And this has been detected across all famous AI detectors like GPT-0, Originality AI, Zero GPT, Copy Leaks, etc. And here we show the highlights. So here you see all these paragraphs contain evidence of AI. So what we can do now is that we want to paraphrase these so that it's not AI uh, written. So we can simply copy this and we can go to the humanizer so that we can humanize. So here for the humanizer, we will just paste the text or the paragraphs. And here in the models, we have different models. We have Ninja 1, Ninja 2. Ninja 1 is small, fast, and capable of bypassing most AI detectors. Grammar and spelling are good, but it's not as capable as Ghost. And strengths, uh, one of the strengths is to bypass all AI detectors with few tries. Then we have Ninja 2, which is the new and improved Ninja model. It is faster and more capable more than Ninja 1. And its strength is to bypass all AI detectors. It has a score of 80% plus on Grammarly. And it gives back perfect grammar, structure, and readability. Then the most advanced ones are Ghost 1 and Ghost 2. So Ghost 1, bigger model, more capable, but slower and more expensive than Ninja. And one of the strengths is to easily bypass all AI detectors, improve on Ninja's output with better grammar, spelling, and structure. Whereas Ghost 2 is the best model so far, much more capable than Ghost 1 and Ninja 2. It gives the best readability, quality, and, and detectability. And amongst the strengths is to read exactly like human, raw, perfect grammar, structure, and readability. So we choose GOS 2 and we humanize. So you see here still a uh, writer detector still shows 80% or 18% rather. So here we need to replace all AI sentences. So here we just type replacing different times. Okay. We could go to next draft or previous draft. So this previous one is the one that has just 9%. Here I could do the post editing if I want or I can just copy it. So if I copy this content and we may use also turn it in or we can use a uh, paraphrase. So if we just go back and we can use also Quellbot paraphraser. So let's just copy again this one and use Quellbot paraphraser, this one uh, with the shortened functionality and the synonyms that are at the higher, at the highest level. So I will paste here the text in Quellbot and then I will start paraphrasing. Also, Quillbot has an AI detector that we can test. So if we just copy this one and put it in the AI detector and analyze text, it says that it is 0% AI generated. And here it has those three shots according to the output of Stealth Writer. This is good. And then for the AI detector, uh, paraphraser, we can just paraphrase it and then we can check it using uh, AI detector as well in the paraphraser. So just paste here and analyze text. You see the, the paraphraser of uh, Quellbolt itself is not accurate. So if we put it in the uh, AI detector of Sirt Writer, we will see what it will reflect. 
it still shows 82% uh, AI detection. So the paraphraser, the Quellbot paraphraser is not accurate. There is also Grammarly. So here for Grammarly, you could simply uh, paste the text and you could also uh, edit it or uh, copy edit it using different tools like generative AI tools. Here we have, you could choose all of these options, remove the phrase, change the wording, etc. Clarity, engagement, delivery, correctness. Then we have goals, either academic, business, etc. We choose academic type. We have essay type and format EPA. And we set the goals. And then the overall score, characters, reading time, speaking time, word sentences. Then we have readability, above average, sentence length, above average, readability score, 17. Vocabulary, unique words, 67%, rare words, 32%, below average. You can also download the Grammarly report. Turn it in to check AI. So we can simply use the Turnitin functionality, which is uh, using AI and similarity check. After checking the file before and after the use of set writer, we got the results like this. Before set writer or turn it in, it reflects just 12% of similarity and more AI more than 70 as well I'm going to show you and after a uh, step writer there was just 1% uh, and we could see the the difference so this is before step writer so here before uh, step writer there is 72% and after Seat writer, there is 0% of AR, and also in terms of the similarity, there is only 1% after state writer, whereas before state writer, there is 72% uh, AI and 12% similarity. So, here, state writer can be helpful in uh, writing SEO articles or uh, let's say improving the quality of paraphrased content by using some AI tools. So this is in brief how you can use state writer to reduce and remove plagiarism and check that using turn it in. Um, so if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. See you soon and bye for now.